Today on the show, we are making deep fried avocado wedges. Not that way! First things first, the beer batter. In a medium sized bowl, add one and a half cups of cake flour. We're using cake flour because it's low in gluten, which leads to a lighter, crispier crust. Oh, and uh, make sure you sift it because cake flour has a bad habit of clumping up. See what I mean? Let's also add one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And a quick little dash of cayenne pepper. And finally, let's add a 12 ounce bottle of cold beer. Wait, 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 let me do a little quality test. Let's mix it up. Cover it in saran wrap. And stow it in the fridge while we prep the fryer. Speaking of which, I got a fryer set to 375. Are you critical of America's foreign policy despite your country's history of oppressive colonization? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. So take an avocado wedge, dip it in our beer batter, and dunk it in. Cook until golden brown and delicious. On about the avocados, cut them into the last minute because any exposure to air will cause them to brown. All right, once they're nice and golden brown like this, transfer them to a plate lined with paper towel. Serve the beer battered avocados with some cilantro cream dressing. Recipe coming next week, by the way. And now you know how to make beer battered avocados. Oh, and uh, no sweaty ending. I gotta eat this before the crispy skin becomes all soggy. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning at this time. <laughs>